Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TSEPs and Fast Films. If you're upgrading from a previous version of Fast Films, you need to really uninstall Fast Films for TSEPs to install properly. Also, if you're upgrading from TSEPs 1.0 to 2.0, you should uninstall TSEPs. And sometimes you'll just try the trial version and decide it maybe isn't for you and you want to uninstall the program. The way to tell if TSEPs is still installed is to go to the File pull-down menu and come down to Automate. If you click on Automate, you'll see TSEPs Custom Index and TSEPs, or if it's a fast film installation, you'll see Fast Films and Custom Index, or if it's an earlier version of TSEPs, you may see Fast Films and Fast Films Custom Index. This tells you the plugins are being loaded when Photoshop runs. Now, just because you have the program in the Actions palette doesn't mean it's not uninstalled. The Actions palette holds the routines, and you could have the action still here and have the plugin uninstalled. Once you uninstall the program, the action will still stay here until you go back to the default actions in Photoshop. Now when TSEPs installs our fast films, an installer is installed with it. On a Windows computer, if you go to the Start button and look at all of your programs and find the TSEPs folder, or the fast films folder, you'll see a program that says Remove TSEPs or Remove Fast Films. Just click on that. That uninstalls all the programs. If you can't get the program uninstalled with the regular uninstaller, you want to go either to your Mac hard disk on a Mac computer under the Applications folder, or on a Windows computer, go to your C drive, and on the Windows computer, you may have two program files folders, depending on how new your computer is. If you have a new 64-bit computer, you'll have program files x86 and program files. If you're on XP or Vista, you'll probably just have a program files folder. Either way, you'll check both of these, but you'll double-click on the program files. You'll find your Adobe folder, you'll find your version of Photoshop, and you're going to drill down to a folder called Plugins and a folder called Automate. And in this folder, you'll find something that refers to TSEPs, whether it be TSEPs 2.0, 1.0, 64-bit, 32-bit, or it may say Fast Films and Custom Index. These are the plugin files, and you would remove all versions of these files from the Automate folder. Photoshop looks to the Automate folder when it starts and it loads any plugins in here. So sometimes you'll think you've uninstalled it by removing the action, but you must come to the Automate folder either on Mac or PC and remove any files that refer to any version of TSEPs you want to remove. That's how simple it is to do this. Now make sure Photoshop is closed when you do this, and next time you open Photoshop, Photoshop won't find the plugins. That's how simple it is to uninstall TSEPs or Fast Films.